Hello, Fortnite gamers. All right, so today we're going to make an, a rap beat using Ableton Live. So these are all the instruments normally used in rap. You got your 808, which is that low frequency hit. And then you have the kick and then the snare and then the clap. All right, so first we're going to work on the 808. All you want to do is you want to highlight three sections of it. It could be eighth notes or quarter notes. And then you click Command D, and then that turns it into uh, thirds, which is very common in the rap industry. So once you have that, then you're going to want to, before each one, you're going to highlight the beginning of one of them and then add it to right before another one hits. So then it's more of like a double kick at the end. So this adds more power to the beat. Then what you're going to want to do is double click it and see this transpose button. You're going to want to take it one octave up. So that's 12 steps. So then it'll give it more of like that 808 feel. Next, you're going to take your kick and you're going to put it everywhere where the first part of the 808 hits. So then it'll give it more power. And you really feel like you'll be hit with the 808. Okay, so after we're done with the kick, we're going to move on to the hi-hat. First, we grab the drum rack and then we drag it onto a MIDI clip. And then we take our hi-hat sound and we can put it onto one of the slots. Now we just have to activate a MIDI clip and then we can come in here. Okay, so now that we're in the hi-hats, all you want to do is do, draw in some 16th notes and before the end of the next one, you just activate the triplet grid and then you draw in some of those before the next one. Two things to make your hi-hats more fancy is you could either change the different pitches or take different hi-hats and then blend them together. Or you could have 30 second note triplets that are a quarter note apart. And so yeah, normally you might add a snare or something like that. But in this case, we're just going to add a clap. And it's pretty basic. We, you just basically put it in either early or late, wherever it makes sense. And then in the next phrase, you just add that again. And then what you're going to want to do at the end is either you can take a sample or make your own melody. Um, I am taking a sample for this one. And then you just add it in. <laughs> 